Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Pete with Think Entrepreneurship and thanks for checking out this video. So a common question I get all the time from family, friends, and people that check out the website is, Pete, how do I start my own website or blog? And that's a great question. So I thought I'd create a tutorial for you guys and gals showing exactly how I created my website, thinkentrepreneurship.com, as well as many other blogs and websites. And it's actually what all kinds of top bloggers are using, as well as businesses. They're using WordPress for their websites. So there's a combination of two different things you're gonna to need to create this website. One, you're gonna to need to, the platform. And WordPress is what I'd highly recommend. And the other thing you're gonna need is a hosting service. And I used a hosting service called bluehost.com. And so you need a combination of these two things to get your website off the ground. So the hosting service is what stores all your content and your pictures, all that stuff. And then the platform called WordPress is what you create all the pages in and what you add all the content to your website with. And WordPress is 100% free, it's great. And Bluehost, what you have to use for a hosting service or there's all kinds of other hosting services out there as well. I'm just gonna use that in my tutorial because I use it and it's great because it's cheap, it's reliable, and you know I've never had any problems with it. Plus, it's super easy to integrate with WordPress. It's, it's a one-click integration type deal. So in this tutorial, I'll walk you through that process on how to link Bluehost with uh, WordPress. And then in future tutorials, we're going to look at some more in-depth things on constructing your website, like um, working with themes and adding pictures and content and that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial and then I will uh, see you at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get started guys and gals. Today we'll start from the resources page at thinkentrepreneurship.com where there's a link that you can click on right here or you can simply go to thinkentrepreneurship.com forward slash bluehost and that will get you going to where you need to go as well. Once you get to the Bluehost website, go ahead and click on the Sign Up Now button. And here it's asking for a domain name. Hopefully you've come up with one. You'll be able to enter it in this box. And on the next page, it will actually tell you if that's been used already or not. You know, if, if it has been used, just keep brainstorming and come up with another idea. I've thought of mine already and checked it. I'm gonna do software for entrepreneurs.com. You'll click next right here. And now you'll, it, it'll say congratulations if it's available. The free domain you have requested is available. Check to make sure it's exactly how you want it. And then you'll enter in your information here. You want to scroll down here's the package information they have different monthly plans here or excuse me uh, yearly plans so it's 695 for a 12 month and then it varies it gets cheaper the longer you sign up for I'm gonna go ahead and go with the 12 month price for now which is 695 per month these are some extra options here the only one I would really look at is the domain who, who is privacy you can read some more information about that if you're um, curious about it. I'm not going to go with it today. And lastly, you'll want to enter in your payment information here. Once you've entered that, make sure this box is checked. Click Next. All right, it's gonna ask you for a few more different options. And I'm not going to purchase any of those add-ons. So go ahead and scroll down, click complete. Congratulations, your purchase was successful, excellent. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create your password.
and the verification pin. Click Submit. And then you're going to enter a little bit of information in this Getting Started area. It's going to ask, what is the primary purpose of your hosting account? Choose Option. I'll say Business. What is the name of your business? I'll say software for entrepreneurs. Does this business target local customers? Little yes and no, but yes we'll put. Which category best describes this business? We're going to go with education. What words or phrases would you use to search for your site on Google? These are just some keywords, software, entrepreneur tools. Go ahead and click submit. It's going to, going to log you in uh, to your Bluehost control panel. We don't need to look at this. Uh, you can click no thanks, I'm fine. And here's where the one-click integration is with WordPress. So scroll down to WordPress, you'll click here. And scroll down to install a brand new version. You can. This is the version. That's okay. And would you like? Where would you like to install WordPress? You're, you're going to want to keep it on your uh, regular domain, not on a subdomain or anything like that. So keep it how it is. And we're not going to install any of these additional plugins. So I'm going to uncheck those. Click here that you've read all the terms and conditions. You can go ahead and read those if you want right here. Click complete. Okay, it's in progress. It installs very quickly and easily. It says our site URL and then how we go to, about logging in as well as the administrative name that we put in the username area and a password. So I'm gonna copy this password and then I'm going to go click on this login URL. You can just type in the domain and then forward slash WP admin if you'd like as well. This is going to take you to your WordPress admin login area. For username, you're gonna, going to want to type in admin and then paste in that password that you just copied. Click on login and you'll be taking, taken to the dashboard area for WordPress where you'll do all of your editing, posting, and so on. The first thing I like to do is jump into my profile and edit it. Now here's where you could change your username if you wanted to. And then if you scroll down, I'd recommend putting in a new password instead of the default one that they give you, um, just so you can remember it a little easier. Go and click Update Profile. Next we're going to go into our General Settings and give our web page a title. We're going to call it mine specifically software for entrepreneurs. You can enter a tagline here. Make sure you go ahead and save changes. Next thing you'll want to go down to is reading. And this is where you can change how your front page displays. Right now it's displayed so that all of the latest blog posts go on the front page, but you can switch it so it's more of a static page that, that doesn't change whenever you add a new blog. And you can set your blog to go on a certain page. We're going to keep ours on latest posts so it's set up for blogging. And then I like to go to permalinks and make sure that it's on this post name permalink structure. That's going to give you the best SEO results. Go ahead and click Save Changes. Now we're going to take a look at our theme. The default theme that WordPress is currently giving us is called 2011. And for more information about 
themes, installing them, and others that you can download, check out future videos because we're going to be going in more in depth on some of those. Let's go ahead and check out the header. Looks like this is the default header. I guess we can go ahead and look at what our site currently looks like. This is what it looks like by default. So we're going to jump here for now. I'm just going to remove the header image and we're going to use the title that we just typed in instead for now. So it's, it will say software for entrepreneurs. Go ahead and click save changes. Let's go ahead and look at how this has changed. So now it's a little more personalized for our website. Let's go ahead and add one page. We're going to call it our about us page and say software for entrepreneurs started in 2012. Go ahead and click publish. We'll jump over to that tab and check, take a look at how our website's changed. Now we have this about us page. We'll click on it. And that's how it looks. The last thing we're going to do is add a new post. And this will show you how the blog works. We're going to call it first post 2012. Welcome to think, excuse me, welcome to software for entrepreneurs.com. We're going to go ahead and put in a picture. You go ahead and go to select files here and I am just going to use a photo that I have on my desktop go ahead and click open we're going to insert it into the post we're going to resize it real quick We're going to publish that and then let's take a look at our home page where the new blog post is. Here it is, first post 2012. Welcome to softwareforentrepreneurs.com. Hey everybody, thanks so much for sticking with me throughout this entire tutorial. I really appreciate it and hope that it helps in getting your website or blog off the ground. Maybe it even just inspires you to start that website or blog because you've had the idea in the back of your mind and you just needed to know the next step in order to make that idea a reality. Um, if you have any questions at all throughout any of the process, feel free to shoot me an email. My email address is pete at thinkentrepreneurship.com. I know entrepreneurship is kind of tough to spell, at least it is for myself. So if it's easier, go ahead and just Google think entrepreneurship find the contact form and submit it that way. Otherwise, give me a call. My number is 800-294-3670. I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you click on the link below. When you do get set up with your hosting, it's thinkentrepreneurship.com slash Bluehost, or go ahead and click on any of the Bluehost links on my website. I do get a kickback from Bluehost for recommending that service to you. And it's only that um, I recommend it because I actually use their service and I truly believe in them. So I um, have every bit of confidence in recommending them to you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and connect with us at facebook.com slash thinkentrepreneurship. Also, we have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. And when you do get that website set up, go ahead and send me the link because I'd love to check it out. And lastly, we're going to have all sorts of other tutorials coming up and helpful information. So continue to check out this YouTube channel and to check out Think Entrepreneurship. I wish you guys the best of luck in getting that blog or website set up. If you have any questions, let me know. And otherwise, go, go do it. Follow your passion. Take care, guys.